Let's talk about Selenium Manager. And this is one of the great feature in my experience. I have implemented this in the current project that I'm working on. This would solve most of the problems that the organizations face with the third party libraries. So first of all, what is the Selenium Manager? So as you know, we have been using the Chrome drivers, right? We have been using the Chrome drivers, Firefox drivers, and then IE, then edge so to access all of this in a selenium to have that communication between your programming language to the browser we were using the drivers correct so we were using something called driver.exe file if it's chrome it's going to be chrome driver.exe if it's firefox it's going to be firefox and dot exe if it's ie it's going to be ie dot exe so this is what we were using it makes sense so what we did earlier so we were manually downloading the files that's option number one so option number one was you can download the exe files and you can download yeah and you can copy that path to your program then execute it, run your Selenium, it would work fine. Based on your browser version, you do that. And option number two, we were following till today, we were following something called Web Driver Manager. It's a third party app. Depending upon the language that you use, the name differs. If it's Java, if it's Python or JavaScript, the, the name differs, but it's something called Web Driver Manager. So, what Web Driver Manager does, it uses the API and Google APIs and downloads the drivers. It looks for your browser version and based on that, it downloads that uh, driver.exe for you. So whenever your browser is getting updated from one version, let's say v1 to v2, you would get the corresponding driver versions as well. So that's, it solved the big problem here. So it's all from option one to option two. It really solved the painful task of downloading the browsers. As I was saying, from option one to option two, it solved most of our problem. But I can still say, this is still a challenging thing for some of the projects because they have to bypass the proxy. So I, I think that this would solve the projects which involves more security scans in the projects, especially the projects like uh, banking and then any anything that involves with uh, finance uh, based domains. So if you if you are working in any of these projects, you can literally understand that you have to go through the proxy each time and sometimes the proxy fails. Correct. And that is still a painful, but though it has solved 90 percent but the advantage now we have is the option three that comes with selenium 4.6 and above so what happens here selenium it's not a new solution but selenium mimicked the feature like web driver manager the third party libraries but it created its own so you don't have to rely on the third party library so you don't have to install that particular plugin anymore you don't have to give the path or you don't have to give the command to install those libraries anymore so all you have to do is just call if you if you want to open driver uh, chrome for the chrome driver so all you have to do is like driver dot chrome that's all you need to do so you don't have to go to after that you don't have to say web driver manager or whatever dot install dot chrome or Firefox, if you're using the option one, you don't have to give the executable for path or services uh, over here. That is no longer required. So we're gonna see how to achieve that in this video based on the Java project, but you can also try in the Python. It's all the same, there's no miracle. So we're gonna try this in a Java project for now. Let's see how to do that. Before that, I'm gonna quickly give you an overview of the Selenium official website about the Selenium Manager, what they are saying about the Selenium Manager. Let's see how, what is that, what are they saying? Right, if you go to the selenium.dev website and then if you go to downloads, install libraries or install drivers, sorry. So if you look at that, they have mentioned about WebDriver 
Selenium version v4.6 and the one important update in that is Selenium manager so if you, if you carefully look at that if they are not found on the path if you have not given on the path then Selenium manager will configure those drivers for you up until 4.6 we had only Chrome Firefox and Edge however from Selenium version 4.7 so from 4.7 onwards, it's going to support IE as well. So the 4.6 only supports Chrome, Firefox, Edge. Uh, and also there's one more browser. Yeah, just Chrome, Firefox and Edge. Whereas in Selenium 4.7, it is going to support IE browser. Let's see. Let's check that as well. So if I go and go to if I can go to downloads, so this is the stable version four point. Sorry, I clicked on I clicked on the I don't I don't want that. I clicked on the grid, but we are we are interested in the web driver now. Okay, so if you look at here for Selenium Java version, we have four point seven for Python four point seven point two. As of December two, this is the version that we have, and then we have December. First, we had 4.7 for C Sharp and for Ruby and JavaScript, so it's all 4.7. So if I look at the change log, so what they're talking about, the one thing that interested me that we are focusing on this video is about Selenium Manager to work with IE driver. So this supports IE driver as well. So in this video, we're going to talk about the Chrome, just how to launch this, but of course, you can try IE driver also. So if you're having Edge, so you're going to have the IE on as a wrapper on top of the edge so that's how it's going to work so let's see how to write a program for the selenium um, with seven yeah selenium manager with selenium version four point and seven all right so i'm going to take you to the eclipse where i have created the selenium project along with the version 4.4.0 uh, but this is not something we're going to use we're going to skip skip this to selenium version 4.7 uh, right so that, that that's what uh, we're going to we're going to see so but let's understand the difference between selenium 4.4 so the the code that you see so uh, it's just a plain java file i'm not using anything like maven i have a maven project underneath it uh, this one attach file so we're gonna we're gonna see that as an example as well but for now let's stick with the basic because the code is not going to change much when you compare with the java plain java versus the maven project so the version that i'm going to stick with is selenium 4 uh, that that's that's the version so with 4.4 all you can see at the moment if you look at line number nine we have to do the system.set properties we have to derive the the browser name whether it's chrome driver or firefox driver all sorts of things and then you have to do chrome driver driver this is the old way of doing things so now let's upgrade this with selenium 7 i'm going to run it as a java file and see if it's opening the chrome and launching the google.com successfully or not just to see if it's if it's working fine if it's working fine then we're going to upgrade this with selenium version 4.7 that's what we're going to do the response here okay so this is because the chrome driver version that i have uh, does not support the version 105 so as you can notice this is the problem right this is the problem with the option one so if, it, if i if i take you to option one this is the problem that i was talking about if the version number is changed for example the version i used here is not matching with the version of the chrome at the moment because this program was written quite long time back so it's clearly proves the option one is a tedious task right so if i can take you to option two it would work but in a different way the selenium manager would work uh, but 
it's it's completely different here's my another project on webdriver manager so if you look at the webdriver manager this is like option number two this is what we were using before using the webdriver manager if you look at here i implemented webdriver manager this is a small project on how to log into the amazon and if i scroll down a little bit uh, down you can see the way i used uh, webdriver is I have initiated the webdriver manager chrome driver setup and then I have to use a uh, web driver driver equal to new chrome driver or driver equal to new chrome driver so this is how I need to set to access and the selenium version that this one has let's check the uh, pom.xml and the selenium version I have here is selenium 3.14 so and I was using web driver manager as you can see which is 5.3 now going forward we would not have any dependency with this web driver manager we're going to completely get rid of it and then we're going to use the selenium web driver um, i mean selenium uh, web driver itself so it, it has the uh, selenium manager in it let's see how to use selenium manager let's see how to do that let's see how to use with the selenium 4.6 and how to get rid of option one and option two let's see how to go with option three all right now i'm going to use the plain java file to mimic this example and i'm going to show you how to implement this in a maven project as well let's go to the project all right so this is the project we were working on and i was using the plain Chrome version and as you can see the version is not supported at this point because my Chrome driver is updated with version 1 of 5 that's the danger we have with this kind of an approach now let's get rid of this I'm gonna comment it out we are not going to use this anymore and then let's just keep this for now and let's see how to download this linear version 4 okay so in this reference library I have version number 4.4.0 okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go to the I'm going to go to the build part, configure build part. Then I will clear everything with regards to Selenium 4. So I'm going to remove it. Let's keep Java library. But for now, apply and close. I will come back once we download the Selenium 4. Let me go to Chrome back and download. 4.7 so which I have already downloaded if you have not downloaded one more time so I'm gonna go to the downloads okay so there you go I have selenium 4 and I'm gonna import all these packages into my Eclipse right, right click build path and configure build path let's add the external libraries downloads selenium jar gonna have it in a list let's download everything all the jar files open and then add external jar again go to the lib and download everything from the library folder click on open apply and close all right cool so now you can see I don't have anything with uh, selenium uh, drivers or whatsoever i don't have anything set up for the driver yeah okay let me get rid of the chrome driver now let me remove that and see import chrome driver it is part of the selenium of uh, the package now if i go to the reference library all you can see is selenium version 4.7 so you can see selenium chrome driver here so that's a selenium chrome driver source now just mouse over and then import okay as you can see the only change i did is i uh, commented out this part of a code and then i kept just this one the chrome driver is part of selenium version 4.7 and as you can see you have the edge you have firefox and then you also have chrome i I also rec I also think it should have the one for IE as you can see we also have IE this was not there in selenium version uh, 4.6 right so this is something new now if I run my program it should pick up without see there is no way there's nowhere I'm navigating the program 
um, to let the program know where my Chrome driver is, right? So all I did is Chrome driver driver equal to new Chrome driver, and I'm doing the right click and then run as Java application. So this will launch the Chrome browser for me with Google um, in the home page. I mean in the browser. So this is this is this is amazing because the package itself comes with the actual web driver so we don't we don't need to have anything any third party we don't we don't need to rely on any third party so this is this is really amazing have a work on it if you want to change it to firefox you can very well do that let's say firefox and if i mouse over on that we have a firefox change to firefox driver okay that's firefox driver and then driver equals new let's say what it is firefox driver yeah I don't, we don't have to remember every, every syntax because if you just do control space bar it gives you the option right so let me comment out chrome and let's experiment this with the firefox this time all right i'm going to run the firefox So this should launch the Firefox without any issues. So let's see. As you can see, it is running the Mozilla. It's opening the Mozilla Firefox and it did launch the Firefox. So this is Firefox. This is Chrome. We have launched both. All right, so that's about it. The importance of this would only be understandable by the people who are working in the finance based domains, which has a lot of securities to bypass and then install these drivers with this solution there won't be any hiccups in starting our test cases it's an amazing feature in my experience if you want to if you want to use the internet explorer driver you can try this and if you want to try the edge you can also try uh, the edge like this for example if you are working on a maven based project all you have to do is go to palm dot xml and then try the maven version sorry the selenium version 4.7 so instead of 4.6 replace that with 4.7 and that would um, do the job for you that's all for now hope you enjoyed this video i believe this is this seems like a small change but in most of the projects that we work with if this is a big improvement it it makes our job so easy though it's like you have a third party library supports but it does make a difference so good luck try implementing this in your projects and see how it goes